on. Whatever. What's going on in the kitchen? Everybody in America. Hi, how are you? We are inside the quintessential cuisine kitchen. You're, it's a little bit messy. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna move some things out of the quintessential cuisine kitchen. But wait, what do we, you didn't do the dance and you didn't show the recipe yet. What's going on in the kitchen? 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 And what are we making today? Today, as a surprise to me, like they always are, we are making Mexican chicken and guacamole dressing with sauteed corn and black beans. Mm. So let's see, we already have our cabbage and peppers and what was it, tomatillo? Tomatillo. Poblano sauce. Tomatillo poblano sauce. Tomatillo poblano sauce. Como que tu madre. Just okay, like now it's time to flip the chicken. Does. The now chicken. it's time to flip the chicken like your mom does. Like Which is your in mom a Mexican does. spice blend. Like, I gotta move some things. No, don't. Here, I'll get it. And then we have Shit. here our black beans. This kitchen's a mess. And Joel cut off the kernel himself ooh, this ooh, corn ooh, 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 i cut all those kernels off look at the look some of them they're like honeycombs together they're like there are corn matrices going on in there i can't take it anymore this chicken smells so good this chicken with its mexican spices smells so good i can't live in america no more. So after you've turned it, it says cook three to four minutes. Until browned and cooked through. Oh, this thing's going to get brown? That's what it says. It's on its way. But I mean, there's stuff on a stove that doesn't need to be on a stove. It's a mess. You wouldn't know it if you stopped talking about it because they can't see it. Oh, you people can't I'm see the mess? I'm that good as a videographer uh, like this. And I'm uncomfortable like, when you put the camera right in my face. It makes me uncomfortable. And you make America uncomfortable. And hey, that's my then. job. Listen, that's my lot in life. And then. <laughs> and then. Try your third leg. See if you can stand on that one. Because and then. It says we're supposed to leave fawn after you finish cooking the chicken. There's some fawn. Good. Don't burn it off. There's some fawn. The problem with not burning it off is that this chicken still needs a second to be ready for prime time. Consistency wise. Because a couple of the pieces are chicken tender and uh you know when your chicken's like ugh, like wet moist like not ready like medium rare like it's not supposed to be like so tell so we everyone don't where that, you came back just... from hey i just got back from starcast where in the chicago land area at a hotel, an undisclosed uh, super duper secret location. Just kidding. There were a lot of people there in Schaumburg, Illinois. Where is Schaumburg? Uh, a city kid, a New York City kid like me, will tell you that Schaumburg is just outside of Chicago. I don't know if it's just outside Chicago or not. It but felt like it was just outside Chicago. Yeah, it's in the suburbs. It's in the burbs, man. It's not far. It's not far from where All Out was taking place, AEW All Out was taking place uh, also in suburban Chicago. You think this chicken is all the way browned down to Chinatown and uh, ready to come off fire? Is it all out? It's, uh, we're almost all out of fun. I mean, if you wanna, 
Well, you tell me. I'm all out of farms. It's I'm not so going back on fire, so you have to you. make sure that it's cooked. It's not going back on the fire? Correct. I mean, it feels stiff. That's what she said. We're going to get t-shirts for all of you, too. We're yeah, gonna right. Get, uh, we're going to get I Can't Live in America Anymore, This Food is So Good t-shirts. Now you got to get the Graplex t-shirt that, that no one buys. Oh, hey, gra <laughs> buy a Graplex t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Joel Gertner. Joel and I have a bet that no right one now. will buy a Graplex t-shirt ever. Squeeze thinks that I will uh, see my demise uh, on this planet. Uh, and in time for that, there will be a sum total of zero <laughs> Graplex shirts sold. So buy one to prove me wrong. So um, there's one up called Raw Red. It's got a nice Graplex logo on a red shirt. It's beautiful. Uh, and if you're the kind of person that likes uh, like pro wrestling company shirts, like logo shirts, sponsor shirts, that kind of thing. It's uh, a fake it company. It is for you, and it is no worse or no better than any other one you could buy. I guarantee it. Okay, I think the chicken's done. So we're going to put it on the blue plate. We're going to turn the Take heat off. Support uh, other companies that are real companies also, though. So obviously don't get in Put the way the of buying a shirt that's like Come collar on. and elbow, SPLN, whatever. Buy all those um, either um, before or after <laughs> buying a Graplex shirt. All right, put the chicken on the plate. Yes. Nah, you know, the fond. Nah. It said, but leave browned pieces, so leave that at least. The fond has kind of solidified. It's not as liquid as it was. It's okay, as long as it's in there. I don't know what consistency they want the fond to be. Leave, like, really small, really browned up yep. pieces, it says. Yep. Try to do that. Such a food hound. And then put that on top of the coffee to maker so we can get our next step in. You can shoot that pan if you want, that bad boy, and you can see that I've tried my best to leave some pieces and some fond in there. I don't okay. know it's going to be good for. And this is what the chicken looks like right now. Take a look at that. You'll see it later when everything's plated, but it looks really okay, good. Okay, it's cooling it off as we talk. Better. Are we supposed to cover it with foil? No, it doesn't say that. So then what are you worried about, okay, so my love? Put another teaspoon of olive oil into the pan. By eye, right? No. A teaspoon by eye, right? right? Oh, what do we got, a teaspoon? This is a teaspoon? Yes. Are you sure? I can read, unlike you. <laughs> All right. Okay, great. Turn it on four. Turn it on four for you, my love. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this around the pan. Well, that'll do its best to create some new liquidy fond. And then we add corn. Oh, man. There you go. Just a nice, sweet, fresh corn right off the cob. Minus. Yeah, there was a produce issue. The cob started to get a little bit... Moldy. Um, as they say in Germany, nicht sehr gut. And, uh... But it was just the ends. Okay, so... so we don't have says... a problem with that. We can adapt on the fly. We understand that... It's always a risk when you buy produce. Even in Seinfeld, there was an episode of Seinfeld, I think, where they said you can't bring the fruit back because it's fruit. It's a bet that you make with yourself. And um, so, yeah. Okay. Does anybody so, know what I'm talking about? No. Um, so it no. says uh, cook without stirring two to three minutes or until lightly browned. Be careful as the corn may pop as it cooks. Without stirring? Who That's does that? Wait, we got to yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, what do you, yeah, right, <laughs> what do you, yeah, right. You got to make it, no, ladies and gentlemen, that is not what he does when he's love making. <laughs> when I'm love making, it's more like, <laughs> Or a Sky and Tina do. Or our friend Sky and Tina. Yeah, he does a Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> we 
found that out last night at a Labor Day weekend uh, Yeah, I wish I could have my ears on that. I really don't want to hear that about We're going to have to tell Sky and Tina to watch this episode. We're going to have to remember when it goes up four months from now which episode <laughs> number this is. And well, right after Sky this, while we're eating this, we're going to put up a video. Oh, are we? We are. Oh, are we? We are. You know how you spell that? You spell O, R, and then you follow it up with we? I didn't realize that I'd signed okay. up for putting up a new video today. Hey, folks, you heard it straight from the source. We are putting up a brand new video today. Unfortunately, you're not going to be seeing this particular episode for a couple of months at least, probably, because we've got some in the uh, Okay, so it says... Cache. It says to combine in a bowl... We've got the, some quivers in our... The guacamole, which is in the bag. Combine no. in the bowl. Oh, this is the recipe. Hey, if you watch Blue Apron Unbox and you've watched it in just the right combination to see it right before this, uh, or if you've seen it already anyway and you've just been waiting, there was a time that we got our usual three recipes for the week, but we got four bags of knickknacks. We can now solve that for you. One of them was a complete and full duplicate. So for one of the recipes, whatever the knickknacks are, like condiments, like guacamole, they gave us not one of each, but two of each. So thank you, Blue Apron, for looking out, making sure you didn't under-deliver. I wish you had given us two corns. Yeah, and, well, <laughs> and, yeah, and, um, <laughs> and sending extra food. Maybe that was a make-good because the corn was kind of, you know, on, you know, still fresh, but maybe only... Because, again, we're doing this a couple of days after the food came, because I was in Illinois. Not a couple. So a couple of days. Food came on Saturday. Today is the second day. To, listen, Miss One LD, day. Listen, Miss LDW is seven days long. Today is Monday, and it's early afternoon, and I'm sure this package was well in route Saturday morning, so that's over two days. Let's give Blue Apron the benefit of the doubt. Okay, They're the greatest. Yeah. Okay, so while you're doing that, put the guacamole in the bowl. Oh. It puts the guacamole in the bowl. The corn's not popping. I'm kind of disappointed. You're not popping about the fact that the corn's not popping? The corn is not popping. We're going to have the beans. What do you expect the corn to do? Like a this is awesome chant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the story with the guacamole? You put it in a bowl. Yes. Okay, I need salt. Okay. Oh my god. Did everybody hear the princess of the castle, little Miss Kitty Chaos, mew? Adults are doing things. Understand? Mommy and Daddy like to eat also. Do you understand? Okay, so that's cooking. Um, so while that's cooking, this cat understands everything. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. While that's cooking, um, you are going to be putting the fromage blanc. Ah, we got fromage blanc. Yep. Is that right? Where is it? In the open knickknacks bag. Yes. Kitty. The cat, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the cat. So we have our guacamole here. With fromage blanc. Which Joel loves to leave things on the edge of the counter so they can drop on the floor. I prefer to refer to it as the precipice, but... Just dump the whole fromage blanc? Yes. The whole cup? Yes. One cup? Yeah. One cuplet? Yeah. One container? One item? One skew? One unit? Chaos will not be ignored. Little Moop, you have food in your bowl. I fed you before this on purpose. Somebody explain to Moop that she does not get Blue Apron and she has to eat what's in her bowl. And then you're going to take half of the lime and add it to that. If you guys in the comments could explain to my cat that not every meal is a gourmet For kitty. experience. For kitty. 
You said half of the lime gets squeezed? Oh, there's my leg. Uh, will you settle for three-eighths of the lime? That's fine. Yeah, I'll tell you why I say that. It's because I went ahead and doused my leg. Okay. You know what would be better for weight loss? If this awesome citrusy sour lime would have gone all entirely in the... Uh, it's okay. The other half is going on the, the ball extra. Instead of all out onto my leg. All out. Oh. Juicy. As you can see, he is very dedicated. Meticulous. Dedicated. Thorough. Dedicated. Okay. Now I'm getting a couple of squeezes in to make up for whatever I have my life. I'll show you. You'll see. What now? Okay, mix it. Now mix it now? Yep. Oh, and we have to add a tablespoon of water after you mix it. Dude, the cat's not getting it. Does she ever really? Like, she gets it. She's just also very, like, determined and, like... Because sometimes if she mews long enough, she'll get a treat. I shouldn't say a treat. She gets, like... About a dozen treats. And this is going to be our guacamole dressing. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Look how good that looks. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too, but the guacamole, though. <laughs> Ooh. I just gave myself a compliment. You always give yourself a compliment. Ooh. Do you feel like these beans are slightly soft? If you people could look how it smells. The whole kitchen, between the guacamole dressing and the tomatillo the and the spices. Can you tell and... me if you think the beans are softened? Well, should I grab, I mean, it depends on if I'm going to grab one of these out here or if I'm going to grab one from the center. Let's kind of get an average on the, ooh, I can tell you they're hot. Well, they should be, they're in a pan. Yeah. Okay, great, turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. All right. Yep. It's set until softened. Okay, now we're going to plate this bad boy. That's it? That is it. The cooking's over? The cooking is over. How are we plating this? Okay. So, um... Where do they have it here? Hold on. Okay, so, bottom, you are going to put the cabbage. On the bottom, you are going to put the cabbage. Correct. How much? Half? A scoop. Yeah. Two scoops? Sure. Okay. Next, you are going to put the corn and the beans. Corn and beans? Yes. How much? Half? Yes. Great. Now you are going to add the chicken. Oh yeah. The chicken. By hand? Sure. How much? Half? I guess so. Now you are going to sprinkle the Kojita cheese. The Kojita cheese. And some of the lemon juice on top. So from the other half of the lime? So are we using the second half of the lime? Yes, I said. No, you didn't say. I did say. Why are you, you just, making it difficult? You don't listen. You said other juice. You can leave me more of the cheese since you're getting everything else. Is this yours or mine? This That's is yours. Mine? I'm not eating that shit. So take less than half of okay. the cheese, right? Yeah, and then we're going to put a little bit of the lime. Mm. 
Okay. And well, then we're supposed you're to use scallions for this, sign. or is that for something else? You can put the dress sign. So no scallions. Why are you talking about scallions? The scallions That's out. That's scallions. Leaks. Give myself half the guacamole, you said? Sure. This is what their picture looks like. And this is what a real man and woman's dinners, bodies, foods, meals, recipes, mm, food cooking is supposed to look like. This is how you make in America nourishment by way of food via your body. <laughs> Sorry, this was a long one. This is almost 21 minutes. Like, subscribe, comment, share on social media, like, <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell a phone, tell a wrestler, tell everyone. Then you're going to go on Instagram at Quintessential Stud Muffin, and you go on Twitter at, Quint at Stud Muffin Says. Anything else? Gucci. Yeah.